Hey Scorpio, welcome to your general love reading for mid-April to the end of April 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. Of course, you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like, or you can book a personal reading with me. You can find all that information in the description box. If you would like a cord cutting session with me, you can email me and I will send you all the information you need about that. Also, keep in mind that for this reading, the roles can be reversed because it's a general reading. All right, Scorpio, let's see what is going on here between you and another person, second half of April, 2022. For the situation, we have the Queen of Cups. There you are, crossed by the Eight of Swords. Okay, so you have a lot of emotions for a particular person here. Um, and I feel like this person also shares that feeling with you, but it feels like, um, you might be a little bit too much in your headspace about it, about what might be happening here, all right, with uh, that Eight of Swords being in the challenge position. But we will see more when we clarify. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Hmm. So you're feeling a little disappointed here, or you you have felt some disappointment in the recent past with this person. I do feel like you're coming out of that though. Um, you're moving towards this energy of just feeling more light about it, just not so heavy, kind of like leaving that conflict in the past. So I feel like this overthinking is something that you're just working your way through, if, if this is you. Let's see for them, we have the Hanged Man, the Devil, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is why you may have been feeling this disappointment is because it feels like this person is just not really moving. Um, they might feel a little bit stagnant or like they're just not taking much initiative. Now the thing is with them is that there's something that they're dealing with here that might be a little bit toxic, a little bit unhealthy, it might be an addiction, it might be a fear. Um, that's what's holding them back. But they're moving towards taking some kind of action here with the Knight of Swords. So yeah, we're going to clarify and get more information on that. So for the potential outcome, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so there is a little bit of conflict here. Um, I feel like this is involving other people. So it could be that this devil's energy here is also involving other people for this person that you're dealing with. Um, so yeah, they might be coming to the forefront of the situation. But it does feel like this person might be taking charge here with this Knight of Swords, especially in terms of speaking the truth or taking action based on truth. So let's clarify. Let's see the Queen of Cups with the Eight of Swords. All right, the Four of Cups showing up again, the Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, yeah, so I feel like this is actually you feeling a little bit confused here as to what might be going on with this person. That's why, I mean, you're just feeling the sense of disappointment, almost like, you know, feeling that the love is there, right? This Ten of Cups, like, you feel like this could be so beautiful, right? If it just, I don't know, if, it, if something happens. If this person can get out of this hanging man energy or out of this devil's energy. And so you're confused because it's like you don't understand why it's not happening. So I feel like that's what you're dealing with here. And it just leads to a bit of disappointment for you. Which can of course also create that overanalyzing, overthinking, trying to figure it out. So let's get into more details here. Let's see the Four of Cups in your energy. The Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands. Yeah, see, so you're coming out of this, as I said. You, the wheel is turning for you. I feel like actually this is you overcoming whatever these obstacles are for you in your own mind. 
and really just turning that wheel in a different direction like rather than just you know focusing on what you don't have here or what you feel like you might be lacking you know focusing more on what it is that you that you can achieve whether that be in other areas of life or, or within your own self or just, you know, finding that own, um, your own sense of confidence, regardless of what's happening here with this person. All right, let's see the Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. It actually feels like, you know, you're just being more um, social overall, interacting possibly with other people more so than before. And it's like because of that, that's helping you to be more independent. It's helping you to detach from that sense of disappointment. It's helping you to detach yourself from um, the overanalyzing that you may have been doing. So keep doing that, all right? If you maybe you're working on a particular project, something to do with work, or it could even be a hobby. It could even just be something social. Whatever it is, it's helping you a lot and it's helping you to um, grow your sense of self-worth and your confidence, which is really just going to give your energy a boost. All right, and that's what matters the most here. Um, so let's see the Six of Swords. The Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. Wow, that is beautiful. Yeah, Scorpio. So it's like the more you do that, the more you're focusing on you and just being social and interacting or just I, I'm getting a big sense of working with other people. Um, it's helping you to move away from whatever it is that was bringing your vibe down. And because of that, because you're raising your vibration in this way, it's attracting more love into your life. And yes, for some of you, it could even be this person. Like it's attracting this person or this person's energy to you. It, depending on what type of connection you have, you might even be influencing their energy as well to help them get through this devil's energy, even if you're not physically helping them. And just overall, it, it's like you're just moving towards more stability and it feels like that door is to love is opening up and not only to love, but also to something very, very um, secure, very stable, very long term, um, possibly even marriage. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's clarify the hanged man. Queen of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So this person is beginning to kind of see, right? They're beginning to see um, that their stagnation or their holding back, it's beginning to get tiring. It's weighing heavy either on themselves or on the connection or both. Um, I do feel like, you know, they've been in this energy where, you know, they might seem a little bit standoffish, a little bit aloof. For some of you, this isn't going to be for all of you, but for some of you, this person may have even cut you out. And if they did do that, um, it's weighing heavy on them. It's like they're carrying that, like that energy with them, like, uh, and it just feels heavy. But know that it's like they did that because they needed to take a step back here. In that case, it's like they needed to take a step back and evaluate something. Um, and whatever it is that they needed to evaluate, I feel like they are gaining clarity on that. And I actually feel like it has to do something with this devil here. So let's clarify this devil. The Six of Cups and the World. Okay, so this devil could be um, something from their past. Either something from their past that had resurfaced into the um, present or just dealing with something from the past that didn't like physically resurface but maybe just came up for them emotionally or in their thoughts. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be a love connection. It could be just about anything but it's something from their past and I feel like it it presented itself to them in some way. But look at this. We have the world. So that cycle is being closed out. This is it, 
yes, it's toxic, it's unhealthy, and it may have affected them in a negative way, whatever this is. For others, it might even be an addiction um, or a fear that has resurfaced. Again, something from the past, but it resurfaced so that there can be a permanent ending to it. So let's see the Knight of Swords. The Fool and the Four of Swords. Yes, okay, so there's healing that's happening here. This person is taking a, like quick action, quick action towards this healing. And also it's like starting afresh. So you might be able to notice this um, in this person where they might um, come to have this vibe about them where they just feel fresh they feel renewed that's what i'm seeing here almost like you know starting over i do feel like they're also um very likely to move towards you and again it's going to feel like there's this new something new about their energy here so i think i haven't called out the zodiac signs that showed up in this reading. I feel like we have a mixture um, of all the elements. And we do have Capricorn. Yeah, all right. So let's see the Five of Wands then for the potential outcome here. We have Strength, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, see, so yes, I feel like there's definitely some external interference here, but whatever that is, it's coming to an end. Yes, that's still going to present itself, but it is coming to an end here. Um, not only that, there's, it's like there's this strength, courage that is showing up for whoever needs it, all right, whether it be you or whether it be with this person in order to deal with that and deal with whatever endings need to happen here, especially in terms of having conflict or resistance from other people. And it's just like, you know, after that, it feels like everything is just kind of falling into place here. This is also Leo energy. And we also have Aries also. But of course, you could be dealing with any sign. All right, Scorpio, let's see if this resonated with you. Let's get the final message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up. And let's see. And we have the Desert Passage. Trust there's a divine plan. So yeah, speaks for itself. Trust that there's a divine plan. All right, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.